don't think that okay well this is my 20s and you know what like i just found a job and i'll just do it the rest yeah. of my life yeah. you're still young enough to really try and find something that you can be passionate about yeah. all those people who are surprised that you can work in something that you think about all the time as if you're surprised that making money and somehow passion is like divorce that making money and somehow passion is like divorce wait hang on for a second why is david just giving a lecture on his 20s Six hours? Look at the view in the back. There's your porta potty. Porta potties! Okay. Oh, big fun! Fun! Good morning, guys! Welcome back to day two of our camping vlog. We spent the first night sleeping in our teepee with lots of friendly mosquitoes and cute bunnies trying to invade our tent. And trust me, bunnies are really cute to play with, but when they're trying to cuddle with you at night, it's no joke kinda scary. So we woke up with sore backs and lots of bug bites, especially on our faces. I mean, just look at our eyes. As millennials working our 9 to 5 jobs in tech, we often spend way too much time consuming the news and social media, listening to what's going on in the world rather than listening to ourselves. Being able to cook and enjoy a simple meal in the wild really took us out of the ordinary and allowed us to center ourselves and lean in towards each other. Okay, but first thing first. I've been really liking this coffee. It is the cold brew from the Lacaloon coffee. Uh, I really hope I'm saying this right. <laughs> Wow, that is so little egg. What did you use more? Nah, two eggs. That's so little. After breakfast, it is now time to start the day. Wow, look at the blue skies, clear clouds, and the panoramic view in front of us. Something about this makes it so liberating to be the only one driving on the road. We're heading to the Crater Lake National Park. Oh, morning. Hey, thank you very much. It is located in South Oregon. This national park has the deepest lake in the U.S. and the lake water is as clear as sky because it's filled with glacial water and rain. As we were driving up the mountains, the breeze of fresh air hit us right in the face. If you've been following us on Instagram, you would know that David and I spent a long time living in Boston before moving to San Francisco. And oddly enough, we missed the snow so much that even the smallest amount of snow on the ground was making us jump up and down. Welcome to Clear Lake National Park. It's right. been so long since we've been to snow. So there's like a trail that goes all the way up here, hikers. Hikers. So oh, where wow. do you want to go first? You want to go up here or want to go up here first? I don't know. You pick. Let's go here. Yeah. Let's go. It's a colorful night, got red eyes, but it's all blue. Those colorful eyes, they don't shine like they used to. The city don't want us, babe. We want to survive this place. If I would lie and stay, it wouldn't feel the same. After not even a very long hike, we decided to stop for a break and lunch. And that totally speaks to how unfit we've become since quarantine. <laughs> the lake was honestly breathtaking. You can see different shades of blue in the lake and it was like walking into a screensaver. We just finished with a small hike and it was a really nice pleasant surprise for us. Because we didn't really come here for Crater Lake. Um, we came here for the TC and the experience, but then it ended up being perfect. Okay, so I actually planned a surprise for him for when we get back to the campground. David has no idea, but all he wanted to do right now was to take a nap. So let's see how this goes. Why are you What's happening? Why are you on camera? What is happening? <laughs> oh. All the way out here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thank appreciate you. it. 
Happy birthday to you. Mm -hmm. right. Happy birthday. What do you wish for? I wish for one million dollars. Oh, come on, that's so be so cliche. Okay. Okay. I wish that I can continue to be as successful as I am. Oh God, <laughs> Just kidding. I Just kidding. All right. Can I can I cut it? Yes, please. Thank you, baby. Let's reflect on your thirty. What do you wish you had done? I wish I had traveled more. Where everywhere, do you want to go? Anywhere, everywhere. I more time to experience things by myself. Go on more so like physical adventures as opposed to just like intellectual ones. What are some of the advice you would give people who are approaching thirty, like me? Find what you're really interested and passionate about. Don't think that okay, well, this is my twenties, and you know what, like I just found a job and I'll just do it the yeah. rest of my life. Yeah. You're still young enough to really try and find something that you can be passionate about. Yeah. All those people who are surprised that you can work in something that you think about all the time, as if the surprise that making money and somehow passion is like divorced. That making money and somehow passion is like divorced. Which is kind of unfortunate. It's not entirely possible to spend your life working on something and to be compensated for something that you really like. It's not going to be exactly the way you want to be, but nothing is. So but you can get pretty close if you try hard enough. I feel like a lot of people just settle for what they have. They start because they're comfortable. I think that by being uncomfortable, mm -hmm. you actually are expanding your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what you're doing. I 100% agree. What are you looking forward to in your 30s? Starting a family, taking on a major leadership role, and figuring out the trajectory of the rest of my life, basically. I think it's going to happen in my 30s. Yeah, I really lose in touch. Are we falling? David and I are cooking dinner right now for our second night. Baby, what are you making? Here's some charcoal grilling. We have some corn. Uh -huh. We have sweet potato. This is a baby back rib. Asparagus. So we've actually had bonfire for the past three nights, so we never made a new s'more. Oh shit, this is on fire! Look at this, this is on fire! Yeah. S'mores ready! Ooh. Let me melt it a little bit. Okay. Ah! Mm. Almost ah. Uh. Let me take another bite. Oh. Mm. 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 This is completed. Let's go! 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 Let's go!